One of the principles that we have worked uh, on here at the Village of Hope is one that I learned from my mentor years ago. Find out what God is doing and get in on it. And that's the story of Village of Hope. I remember after starting the Village of Hope together, Andrew, in Estonia, a lot of work, a lot of uh, building, and God spoke to us, I want you to start a Village of Hope in New Brunswick. And of course, my reaction was, that's gonna take a lot of resource, a lot of work. But God said to me, don't worry about it. I got it all lined up for you. All you have to do is find it and gather it up. And that's when we met Byron and her that day. So we teach journaling here at the Village of Hope and how the men can hear the voice of God for their lives each and every day. So we prayed and we journaled about this very specifically and said, Lord, if you want us to build a village over here, where do you want us to start? And we came up with three things in the prayer journal. One would be 200 acres, it would be on the river, and we would get it for $1. So that was the criteria that we had to, to go and look for this land. Pretty and big miracle itself. It was huge and we ended up right here on this exact property across the river at this old sugar shack with the owner, Byron Phillips. And we said, Byron, would there be 200 acres here? He said, there must be 200 acres. And we knew it was a beautiful property. And so we knew there was one thing left to do and we had to ask him. <laughs> we went up and had lunch with him and Andrew said to me, well, one way we're gonna find out, ask him, Dad. So I said, Byron, would you consider giving us 200 acres of that land, both sides of the river, maple sugar camp and the whole works, and we're not gonna give you more than $1 for it. And I was really, surprised when he took a big sigh and he said without a hesitation it's yours because when i was down at the uh, river god spoke to me and said when these boys ask you for this land you give it to them and i've been waiting for you to ask me so i went and got him a dollar bill and i put it in a frame and i brought it to his house and we presented it to him and i remember he was probably 82 years old at the time and sat in his rocking chair and had tears coming down his cheeks and he was rocking back and forth and said oh boys isn't God good God is so good and I thought wow yeah he's good to us but why are you thanking the Lord and he said out of all the land in New Brunswick uh, God would choose my land to build a village of hope and he felt so privileged and I thought what a tremendous attitude and a great testimony and uh, you know it's taken a, it's been a lot of years since and it's taken a lot of miracles to get where we are today but you see, what we realize is that God had it all worked out already. It was God's destiny, God's plan, and God's purpose. And so that's what makes us success today. It's our privilege, Andrew, to be a part of what God is doing. Absolutely.